Hello, I'm Oliver and I'm a Bridging Binaries volunteer at the Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge and this video is part of the Museum Remix Unheard project. Today I'm going to be introducing two portraits of the 17th century physicians John Finch and Thomas Baines. These are two large oil paintings that hang facing each other in the centre of the Grand Gallery 3 in the Fitzwilliam Museum. They were painted as a pair by the Italian Baroque painter Carlo Dolci during a stay in Florence, at which time Finch was minister to the Grand Duke of Tuscany. I picked these paintings because the story of these two men is a great example of what it means to engage with the obscured or overwritten histories present in any historical or cultural collection. The modern language of homosexual, bisexual and heterosexual didn't exist until the late 19th century, and so it would be anachronistic to label the two men as a modern gay couple. However, it is remarkable to see the difference between the way they described their own relationship and the way it was heard and acknowledged by others. The two men met while studying at the University of Cambridge, both obtaining an MA in 1649. Two years later, they travelled together to Italy to undertake training as physicians. This would set a pattern that would hold the rest of their lives of being generally known as completely inseparable. For after one brief diplomatic mission by which the two were separated, Charles II himself intervened to ensure that Baines could always accompany Finch in future without any official role besides companion. Here's a closer look at Thomas Baines. You can see that he's reading books of philosophy, which conveys his wide-ranging interests. Besides working as a physician, he was also a professor of music. I love this painting especially. I think Dolce's detailing on the sleeves and the delicately placed hand is really wonderful. And here's John Finch. In 1665, he was named Charles II's ambassador to Florence and he later served as ambassador at the Ottoman court in Constantinople. It was Finch who commissioned the portraits after having befriended Dolce over regular visits to the painter's studio. During their lives and for many years after, Finch and Baines were consistently referred to as the greatest of friends. And even in the 20th century, medical historians speak of their very long and remarkable friendship. The term friend is a particularly useful one in the queer art history detective's toolbox. Typing it into any major collection search bar always results in interesting findings, since the word has stood as a kind of catch-all term for all kinds of relationships. Finch and Baines considered their relationship as a kind of marriage. Finch himself called it a beautiful and unbroken marriage of souls, a companionship undivided during 36 complete years by what he called an unspeakable love. The two are buried in Christ's College, where they'd first met, with a joint monument designed by Finch after Baines's death, which he said at the time has cut the thread of all my worldly happiness. The monument depicts the two of them joined together by a cloth, a common symbol of marriage at the time. For your own remixes of these portraits, you might like to think about the way in which these paintings do speak, or could speak, about the unheard story of these two men. You could also think about how the two portraits fit into the museum's collection. Gallery 3, where these portraits hang, is a gallery made up of other portraits from this period. Do the Finch and Baines portraits stand out? And if not, why not? And should they? But however you want to approach the Remix project is entirely up to you. And we're really looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Happy Remixing. <laughs>